so you want some flapjacks, but Jack does not a flap and flap can't jack, so you just settle for waffles instead. Hey guys, I'm back, that's by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to add an image or a texture onto an object, and we've done this before uh, quite a long time ago, and a lot of people said that some things changed and some things are different, and it, it works differently now, and you do it differently, so I'm here to uh, to redo this kind of thing. And, uh, and help you guys out. So let's go ahead. And the first thing you can see here is we have the default cube, all this stuff. We're just going to use default cube today. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to the material tab down here at the uh, at the bottom right of the screen, material tab. And I'm going to hit this little uh, this little yellow circle next to base color. Hit that little bad boy right there. And we can change this to image texture. Boom. So now once it says image texture, it's going to open up this thing that says new and open. Now, if you had an image already um, set, you could open an image right here uh, or you can hit new. And this will just add in a new image and then you can just, you know, add, and you can draw one in Blender. But we're going to open an image, like an actual image, instead of drawing one in Blender. Um, so we hit open. And then once, once we open it, it'll open up this, uh, the, the, your, your file folders, essentially. So then what, you, what you're going to need to do is you're going to find the picture, wherever it is, whatever picture you're going to use on your on your computer, pictures, downloads, wherever the picture's at. And then uh, you can select that picture and we'll go on from there. I'm going to go ahead and choose this image, which is an image of the North Hole. Now, when, when you hit this, it'll open and it won't show you anything, but what you can do is you can go up here to material mode and you can see up at the top right, hit this little material button right here, material preview. There's four circles up here, hit the third one, hit the third one. Uh, you can see now when you scroll in, you can see the, the image of the North Pole on the... Um, on the cube now everything's looking kind of weird it's kind of you know in all different directions and whatnot so how we can fix this is a couple different uh, a couple different ways so let's go ahead and put our cursor in the top left of the screen until it turns into a little plus and then we can just click and drag and split our window into two pieces and then this little button up here at the top left that says editor type um, and then we can click that and change this to the uh, UV editor. Nice. So once we're, once we do that, we hit this little drop down and then select the image, which is this is the image. This is what it looks like. Um, but you see, it's all kind of like all over the place over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit tab to go into edit mode. And once we do that, you can see it'll open up this little thing. that looks like a T, like a cross on the left hand side on the image. So this all of these little pieces is uh, correlating to a side on this cube. So like um, this piece, oh, so this, I'm, I'm gonna face select mode. So face select mode up at the, up the top, you can select each face. Um, this piece right here, this is that, this piece is that, this piece is this one in the middle, and then that piece is this piece. And you can see what, I, what I'm trying to get at here is you, all these different sides correlate to a different piece over here. Now, these are all like rectangles when they shouldn't be, because this isn't really unwrapped properly. So we can, we, we can hit U, to unwrap this and you can just hit regular unwrap and what that's going to do is it's going to unwrap it the way that it like really strangely so you don't want to do that just hit u and you can have smart uv project light map all this stuff you can do cube projection which is going to make it so that all of them are the same size of a square and then you can go ahead and like select each of these pieces by going to face select mode up here and then just hitting s to scale it i don't know where this one which one is all this one up on top so you can s to scale it and you can make it bigger or smaller um, so you have the whole picture on the um, on the cube there, which is good. So if if you uh, need that to be exactly at the size of the cube, there you go. That's perfect. Now there, the other one that I would recommend doing, maybe sometimes for some specific situations, is smart UV project and then hitting OK. Now you can see the reason I like this is because it kind of puts them all like you know in a nice little format, um, and you can hit G and move them all around, and they're all separate and solo, unlike the other one we just did where they were all kind of connected. So if we do that again, you can see cube. Um, if I hit G to move these, they're connected. See how it's like connected like a cube and it's very strange and it can look weird like this little piece up at the top. So I wouldn't recommend that. The one that I would recommend every single time is always going to be smart UV project. Leave all these um, options the same and hit OK. And then you can go ahead and move these around where you want. You can hit S to scale them up, move them around, you know, make this one there, you know, and a nice little picture of the North Pole on the top there. And you can do the same thing on the, maybe on the bottom, maybe this piece, you only want the water. So let's go ahead and select that piece, hit S to scale it down and then just move it to the water. Only got the water in that one. Maybe on this side, whatever side this is, um, you can hit uh, G once again, uh, select this, hit G and maybe you only want the Aurora Borealis, you know, hit tab to go in and out of this edit mode. Like I said before, hit tab again, select this piece. Maybe you want this one to be rotated. So you move it down to the mountains and then you hit R Oh, you hit R to rotate this. You can see you can rotate like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's spinning, whoa, crazy. But yeah, you can rotate that one a little bit. You know, go crazy. Whatever your heart wants is exactly what you're going to get. So that's how you add an image to an object. 
Um, very, very cool stuff. Very easy to do. Um, hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoy, enjoy this tutorial. Hope you learned something new. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.